What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. Just to let you know, this video is brought to you by Manscaped. More about them in a jiffy. And as you'll be able to tell by now, we're back on Hearts of Iron 4. But this is from a live stream a few days ago. And if you're ever interested in watching my live streams, I stream every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday around, you know, 5pm um, British time around around that. Uh, yeah, just, 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 I stream a variety of stuff. Do you fancy it? Anyway, let's get on with the madness. We're back once again on Hearts of Iron 4, but we're playing the AEIO U slash V mod, uh, where the Industrial Revolution never happened. We're going to be playing in Spain today, so if you're watching over on the YouTubes, why don't you smash that like button? Comment and subscribe too, because that's what people do on YouTubes. Thank you. So that's right, today's video is indeed brought to you by Manscaped. They've sent me a ton of of stuff which I've given a rigorous testing. So one of the things they've sent me is the Lawn Mower 3.0 with a waterproof trimmer and advanced skin safe technology which helps reduce nicks and cuts. This has to be the best shave of my bollocks I've ever had in my life. It went like a breeze and this light really helps get in there and uh, <laughs> allows you to navigate a lot easier. Just kidding, I've obviously cleaned it. <laughs> Could you imagine? They also gave me some uh, anti-chafing ball deodorant. And a crop reviver. Gone are my tired little testicles. And with the crop reviver, they flourish once again. It's a Manscaped cologne. Don't worry, it doesn't smell like testicles. Actually smells really nice. I'm not usually a cologne wearer, but I have actually been wearing this recently. And for a limited time, they're actually giving away two free gifts, which include the Shed Travel Bag and Anti-Chafing Boxes. They sent me a large, which was um, a bit generous, but thank you very much. <laughs> and no, I don't need an extra small, thank you very much. So if you go to manscaped.com today, you can get 20% off, plus free international shipping, and two free gifts when you use the promo code RAMBLER20 at the checkout. Even just clicking on the link and viewing the website really does help out my channel. So if you can do that, that would be absolutely fantastic. And thanks once again to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. I'm honestly looking forward to shaving my balls again. Never thought I'd say that. So the only nation that has a complete focus tree at the moment is the Kingdom of Spain. So the Spanish Empire, oh my gosh, ruled over by Emperor Philippe of the Spanish Habsburgs is one of the major powers of the world and currently one of two nations with strong colonies in Asia and Africa, the other being the Portuguese Empire. But I imagine the Habsburgs are the kind of the real powers uh, of, the, of the whole world, right? In this new world order. And if we look around, we can kind of see what the world looks like. We've got the Republic of New England. Oh, Swedish Delaware, excuse me. And then we have the Republic of Massachusetts. We have Canada. Nice. But yeah, it does seem like the First Nations still have a heck of a lot going on for them. The Mexican Empire is a thing. Africa is just one solid nation. Okay, sure. You've got the Great Qing, the Sardom of Russia. The Ottoman Empire is still pretty chonky, but you do have the Kingdom of the Romans. <gasps> oh, yes. I like that. Led by Otto I. The Habsburg monarchy under Rudolf III. But it does look, yeah, I guess the Kingdom of the Romans has Constantinople. Hmm. But we're going to play as Spain, as Philippe. Okay, so, its rule over the Caribbean is uncontested and its relations with India and Southeast Asia are impeccable. The Latin American countries who descend from the Spanish colonists that arrive after the discovery of America were granted a lot of autonomy. On the other hand, Spain, France and Austria could be called the powder keg of Europe as for the last hundred years they've been fighting each other in an attempt to break the stalemate of powers that emerged after the expulsion of the Ottomans from Europe. Okay, great. Are we going to fail again? We never fail. They're just happy accidents that result in losses. Right? But here we go. This is what probably crossed your mind when you first saw this mod. Uh, it's anything you want it to be. Wow, there we go. Re Indu the Industrial Revolution has not yet happened. Religion and autocracy are almighty. Currently you are playing Rudolf Bain's version of the mod featuring the everlasting Spanish Empire. Thank you. Let me play. Let's see what we can achieve here. How many factories do we have? Barely any. Fantastic. What does our focus tree look like? 
I hope it's more than this. But we'll do the king's duty. There's no current... Damn it. But we'll see a day in Philippe's life. The Industrial Revolution hasn't happened, so we're... We've got muskets. We still have artillery somehow. I don't even know what we need for our division, so let's just build, like, one of everything, I guess. Okay, everything's all hunky-dory. We're Roman Catholic. We've got the Holy Roman Empire. There's uh, seven electors. So that's like a whole little screen for this. Our head of government is Pedro. All right, Ped. And we currently have a colony, the Spanish East Indies, the Spanish East Indies. I'm just seeing where all my colonies are. The Spanish Netherlands, the Spanish West Indies. Oh, we've got religious fanaticism, strong regional Ferreros, and we've got a backwards economy. We've been suffering constant crashes for the past 300 years. Philippe has never been a lazy monarch. Instead, he chooses to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and after a breakfast worthy of a king, he goes on to attend the matters of state. Oh. One day when the flow of beggars is significantly small, he enjoys disguising himself as a poor peasant and going to church with the masses. But now he has no time to do any of those things. Oh dear. Only God knows what's on his mind. Indeed. Wow. Okay, so India is still... Uh... Oh, look at that cheeky chappy. He's so happy to be alive. Rajaram III, the leader of the Maratha Empire. The Mughal Empire, not so happy. <laughs> In fact, downright miserable. Oh wow, he's also very miserable. What about the Great Ching? Can I imagine owning all of this and being that miserable? I, oh, I could continue the Spanish Inquisition. Why not? Nobody expects the Rambler Inquisition. Boost noble scholarships, increases our production efficiency. Oh wow. Let's do that though. Let's do the wealthy bourgeois universities. Indeed. <laughs> This looks like it's to be an incredibly detailed mod. Just look at Germany. Look at that mess. Oh, look, they've got like newspapers. But just look at all these independent little bitties. Is that Prussia? No, the Teutonic Order is still around. So Prussia has never risen in this. Still got the Kingdom of Naples. Like, there's so many nations. I could improve my quality of life for people. I guess I'll do that. Oh, I'll, I'll help out my public and give them better quality of life. I guess. Not that they deserve it, do they? Oh no, there's been a market crash in Swedish ivory. <laughs> what? The age of ivory was long dead, but these countries refused to switch to modern trading materials like iron and coal. Meanwhile, I'm fixing the economy of... Spe oh, I don't even have a national focus. Whoops. No more stagnation. Let's go. Alright, shall I do old colonies, new colonies? And we've got the Centro american cake so i could do this i don't know what they do so but i can do what now focus on the true enemy rally the portuguese sure this sounds better than going down this route yeah why not it seems that king philippe's attempts to please the gods haven't had the effect they intended and his only hope is to expand in the caribbean and the unstable country of central america is gone now okay for india am i actually going to go after india do i actually control anything down here oh i've got this little bit prepare yourself <laughs> oh no I hear rustling behind me. Hello? What? You're plotting? Oh, no. <laughs> Help. Help me. Oh, what is this? The Brabrantians are a rebellious group of people formed mostly by peasants and farmers. Their lands, however, are the most valuable of all the Spanish held territory. With the invention of the steam engine, it's very possible that we can get profit. So I just need a hundred, and then I can bring Tesla's engine. It goes north. What? Damn it! Damn it! Woman, I <sighs> come back. Oh. oh my god, what are you throwing at me now? You're now just throwing paper at me. Oh my god, just buy one of those Nerf guns. That would work. Ah, that went right on the back of my head. You absolute. Oh, it's been a while since we've had a appearance years. from the lady. The Tesla engine goes north. Using some of our funding, we've managed to buy several Tesla engines named after its creator Nikolai... Nikola Tesla, sorry, not Nikolai, which promises to revolutionise the way production is handled and its majesty and his immense intelligence propose sending them to the land of the Babrantians in an attempt to get some profit from that wasteland. <laughs> there you go. If you're from the Netherlands, you live in a wasteland. <laughs> It's well known that Flanders and the Brabant region is not one of the most easy to cultivate and the people aren't helping much either. Lucky for us, Spain always has an up up its sleeves. Okay, there you go. Oh, I can do the first steam-powered farms and revolutionise the cities. Okay, so I am doing stuff. You just can't see it. Oh, what's this? A ledger? Oh, I love a ledger. Where am I? One. I'm fourth. France is above me for now. Wait until France is in me. Rejoice, ladies and gentlemen, the king has signed a new set of laws that will improve your lives. <laughs> I bet it's higher taxes. 
the first farms. It seems that we have succeeded introducing the Tesla engine to the Babrantians. Hey! Very good. Okay, so we're bringing technology over here. Aren't they happy? The rich come to negotiate. Rich money is still money. <laughs> the rich men in the Netherlands have finally sent their envoys down to Madrid. They wish to negotiate the purchase of several Tesla engines. Ooh. You know what? I'll say rich money is still money. I love money. Ah, here we go. So, replace religious fanaticism with religious xenophobia. Huh. So that gave us extra stability. And now we actually get less to- Oh, jeez. That's a bit sh- Ah, uh, there's going to be an attempt on Philippe's life. Oh my gosh. Philippe. Okay, terrible news has come from the capital. Apparently someone attempted to assassinate the king. Quite well paled, but both has 12 o'clock. <laughs> I can't even talk today, can I? It was well past 12 o'clock when Philippe was walking down the... Quite a small street where once held a female prison. Oh, there was a peasant that took out a knife and attempted to strike it into the king's chest. All ends well. Okay, so the peasants actually beat that to them to death. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I want to do here. Proclaim Lex Christie or the Lex Expatoria. Lex Christie allows me to have divine rule. Oh, I'll do that then. Divine rule, here we go. The Lex Christie, as the name suggests, is a law that enacts godlike powers to the monarch. <laughs> Nobody questions the king. So am I, we're straying further and further from the Pope, I guess. Claim the Catholic Kingdom of Spain. Bam. So we've proclaimed the Catholic Kingdom. Today is a glorious day. Philippe's intention of this new realm, which is merely a self-imposed title with the permit of the Pope, is to oppose Kaiser Rudolf's viewpoint of the new Holy Roman Empire. Is this just driving my stability to zero? This is, yes. All of these all of these religious changes that I'm trying to enact is just alienating everyone. Oh my god. Philippe's demise. Oh, damn. Oh, Philippe. You try to become king of everything, but you're no Henry VIII, son. You're no Henry VIII. Uh, popular outcry. We're going to lose war support. So, yeah. Philippe stays do not seem long good. Long good? Oh my god. What is going on? Philippe's... Days seem numbered. <laughs> Philip's demise. Goodbye, Philippe. Grievous news is coming from Lazarella, the royal palace. It is not known what's going inside, but the sounds of muskets being shot and loud cries can be heard from tens of meters around. Oh. It seems to be a coup. King Philippe used this valuable time to hide and exit, finally. Uh, he may be dead, he may be alive. He had managed to arrive in one of his courtiers' rooms whose name had not been revealed and was hid in a large wooden box. Philippe proclaimed the suppression of the revolution. He had a medic cure his wound. Okay, so wow. Words of an insane man. So Philip's actually still there. Philippe survived. Well, after all that, after all of the religious upheaval he's taken the nation through, he's, he's survived. I wasn't expecting that to be H. King Philippe has risen from the ashes. Okay. He was no longer obsessed with God. Uh, King Philippe has actually begun to care about anything other than religion. Okay, okay. With renewed energy, his wound has developed into a very disgusting scar. Alright. Down with the insurgents or issue a general pardon. No, down with the insurgents. They will be executed for their transgressions. <laughs> Spanish Netherlands. They are now a colony. Good. Oh, an absolute lion. Uh, an invitation from Spain. So we're going to try and get Tuscany on our side. Okay. Answer from Tuscany. A Habsburg doesn't betray a Habsburg. Tuscany chose France over us. Let's try and get the Pope. <laughs> oh, Mr. Pope. But look at that smiley guy. Look at Leo. Envoy to the Pope. Envoy. Philippe's envoy to the Pope uh, has asked... Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. Philippe hopes that having the PayPal states on his side will boost. Okay. Papacy has declined. Okay, invite Portugal. <laughs> the Portuguese have denied the Spanish offer of joining the Absolutionist Alliance. Okay, brilliant. I guess I'll just create a faction by myself. War in sight. Here we go. Honor and glory. I imagine we will be going to war with France. Of course. Oh, wow. Okay, they already... Uh, they already clued up, huh? But at least I can actually recruit divisions now. Here we go. Oh, my God. Add artillery to our divisions, <laughs> because why not? Kablam. Huh. We broke through their fort line, everyone. They, they've taken 30,000 casualties already. All right. <laughs> we go. Oh, come on. What is all of this about? Insurrection in the palace? No, I'm doing well. I'm winning. I'm winning the war. Why do they want me to stop when I'm winning? Don't get me to stop when I'm winning. That's not fun. 
Oh, shit, we've been encircled. Okay, I'm going to stop advancing now. Okay, well, we saved them. We saved the units. We're lacking 11,000 rifles. Jeez. Okay, uh, what I'm actually going to do is fall back to there for now. I have no idea where the French are or what they're doing, but they still outnumber me in terms of divisions, so I, I'm not going to go too aggressive anymore. I feel that, like, that was a big mistake. Although this just seems silly not to take advantage of. When the AI is this, um, hmm, dumb, you've got to take advantage of it, haven't you? <laughs> this is odd. This is weird. I mean, I'm, I'm, I love it. I love it because I've just, what, killed a few more, 40,000 more Frenchmen? And they haven't actually taken all of the Spanish Netherlands either. They've, they've kind of just freaked themselves out. So although I could keep attacking, and in theory, maybe I could do this like a big encirclement here, it's very risky and I could get easily cut off. I wish I just had like seven more units. I'm just going to save it and then attack. Because <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, let's protect the northern ports. Actually, I'm still going to do it carefully. Yeah, screw screw risking my entire army for this. I'm doing this very slow and methodically. But there isn't really many units, so I will actually just attack. And if anything, I get more military factories, so which we need um, lots of melee equipment for. We will accept their offer. No. Spanish Aquitaine. Really? That's all I get. And now this is the French Netherlands? Are you having a giraffe? What BS? That's a BS piece deal right there. The French Entente has just been formed and Portugal is in it. <coughs> yeah, I'm just building up uh, military factories as quick as I can now because you, I, need a, I need a decent force. Oh, actually, I could look on the ledger and see where we stand now. France is top. I'm still fourth. Damn it. The mod feels almost a bit, a bit like a shell at the moment. There's not a lot in. Like, anything, everything that's in is working, which is a lot more than most mods. But we've been, what, streaming this for almost three hours? And although I've had a couple of breaks, we're not doing a whole lot, are we? Okay, is that it? Have I reached the end of the tree? Where is my saw? Ah, it's down here. Okay. Then ten divisions. All right, so we're sending our troops down. Did they go? Are we going? Oh, they are on their way. Okay. Which way did they go? Oh, the Suez Canal isn't a thing, so they've gone round the whole of Africa. Brilliant. Love it. <laughs> it just works. <laughs> it appears the Suez is blocked, everyone. The Suez is blocked. <laughs> He's not going to enjoy this, is he? 21,000. Sorry, 21 casualties to their 5k so far. It appears I'm going to conquer them no problem. <laughs> well, we did it. And I think that that is the whole... Focus tree now. Yep, that's it. That's the whole. That's the whole content. That's that's all of it. So that's it. That's that's all I can. That's all I can do really. Let's see if I can manually justify. Yeah, we'll try and do that. So we'll go and have a, like this massive war against um, Portugal. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Portugal will be mine. Kingdom of France joined, but Spanish Aquitaine won't join until I command it. Oh my God, Portugal is actually fighting back. This isn't what we wanted. The mod does lag a bit. Although this could this just be my own PC just messing up? Maybe. Either way, I'm going to destroy this bunch of losers. Destroy the encirclement. Crush them. Portugal's days are numbered. Isn't this satisfying, everyone? I've modernized my forces. Spain is a global power once more. Everyone will submit to my rule or die. Yes, I, I think I have the advantage now. Okay, so I just need to capitulate France and then I can win. In order to get more stuff out, I might just go back to, like, 1860s muskets. Like, 30 years old, like, or maybe even 1880s, because I... I need to... Oh, that was, that was just bad. Whoops. That was just... Wasn't it? I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. <laughs> you you attrition from equipment so hard in this mod, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, they need to rebalance the equipment, in my opinion. Because, like, you know, after a couple of minutes of attacking, we're now... Bam. Yeah, so that little attack just cost us another 5,000 rifles. So th the mod is good. It just needs balancing because it's just irritating um, how quickly your units will just die. So at the moment, I'm going to give the mod a 7. But it has the potential. Easily the potential to be a 10. Three more are cut off. You also have to remember, like, I'm, I'm playing at 5 speed, so I don't really... Uh, you won't see as many encirclements as, as, you might exp as you might, you know, usually get. But I'm slowly defeating the French. Soon I don't think the French will have enough divisions to cover their front. Oh boy, this is exciting. We're, we're encircling so many of the French divisions. This is great. 
So I might be able to win this war just by encircling their divisions constantly. There we go. They're encircled again. Bam, ba bam. I wonder how many French troops they've lost. A half a million. I've also lost half a million troops doing this too. What the heck? <laughs> oh, what's that? Two more divisions encircled. Don't mind if I do. How many divisions do the French have now? 16 and 24. I just want to be first on the ledger. My ego, it needs it. Let me be first on that freaking score. Or at least better than France. How close to Paris do you reckon I can get before they try and stop it? Oh my god, we've taken Paris. We've only gone and f***ing done it. The French, um, I think, are really just uh, screwed at this point, aren't they? There we go. So just microing led me to win this war. Uh, so that's the trick to winning this mod. Micro. So if you're a battle planner, you'll hate it. I signed a white piece. I signed a white piece. Are you actually out of your mind? I gain nothing from that. Nothing. But, okay, zero out of ten. Three hours, and then I get white piece. Okay, that's the stream for today, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Oh, that's that's irritating. That's really irritating. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, half a million men died for nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel so ripped off. But you, you know what won't get ripped off? If you use Manscaped uh, on your balls, you won't rip off anything. It's it's just smooth as a baby. Thank, thank you for Manscaped for sponsoring this video. <laughs> so take care for now, everyone. And, uh, and toodaloo. Ta-ta. That would work. Ah, that went right on the back of my head. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Kobe Dennis, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Brandon Preston, Tad House, Vach, Warren P. George, Valhalla Halls, Yeah Boy, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, and Use Beef for being ridiculous random supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. Wah! One take Rambler.